December is tomorrow! Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about The Blue Yonder. The Blue Yonder is a 1985 Disney Channel premiere film written and directed by Mark Rossman, cinematography by Hiro Narita, editing by Betsy Blanket, and the music is by David Shire. Mark Rossman is best known for Sorority Row, The Invader, and The Perfect Man. Hiro Narita, I covered in the video for Never Cry Wolf. The link will be in the description. Betsy Blanket is best known for Reckless and in Love, El Norte, and Penitentiary. David Shire, covered in the video about Return to Oz. The link will be in the description. The film stars Huckleberry Fox and Peter Coyote. Huckleberry Fox plays Jonathan and he's best known for Terms of Endearment, Misunderstood, Conrad, and American Dreamer. Peter Coyote plays Max, and he's best known for Bitter Moon, Patch Adams, A Walk to Remember, and E.T. the Extraterrestrial. This movie snuck up on me. When it started, I thought it was going to be so boring, because the beginning was slow. And then the kid time traveled, and I was like, oh, did not see this coming. Because <laughs> it wasn't set up as that kind of movie. It didn't feel like it was going to be kind of like, ooh, time travel. But then the kid time traveled back to 1927 to meet his grandpa and, and warn his grandpa and stuff. And I was like, okay, here we are. 80s dressed, tiny little like eight year old kid off to meet his 1927, you know, grandpa. That's gonna be really exciting. And it was like a really touching story. It wasn't phenomenal, but it was a fun story to be along for the ride. And I did cry one tear, <laughs> no other tears fell. I blinked and one tear fell out of my left eye. And that was it, no other tears fell. It was a very touching story. It was very cute. Um, I, I would recommend, for sure. The film is actually about this little boy, Jonathan, going back in time to 1927 before his uh, grandfather is going to make one of the first trips in a plane across the Atlantic. Charles Lindbergh beats him. But what happened was his grandfather took the northern route and didn't make it and passed away. And so he's going back in time to try and keep his grandfather from flying the route or flying across the Atlantic period because he knows Charles Lindbergh is going to succeed first and he, you know, wants to know his grandfather. He wishes his granddad were around. He misses him, per se. And uh, the story that ensues is really touching. So definitely uh, I'd recommend it for sure. I think I'll give it... Hmm, maybe six... Yeah, six planes out of 10. Our total movie count is, our cry count is. <laughs> Parent death toll is still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday. Have you seen The Blue Yonder? We're starting to get into like movies that I've prob possibly seen. I have never seen this, but the boy wears a jacket in the movie that is very reminiscent of a jacket my mother had for like 30 years. It was her winter coat forever. It was like patchy orange, pink, and black. Just like this kid's like blue, red, patchy jacket. I'm like, wow, okay. <laughs> it was uh, fun. Let me know if you enjoyed the movie. Until next time, comment, leave, subscribe, and I'm sure I you are, so you do you. And don't be the one cop and that one guy trying to steal a time machine about it, because they're not cool. <laughs> Vlogmas starts tomorrow. I'm very excited because I think Vlogmas is a very fun time. For those of you who have no interest in Vlogmas, no worries because this year I am doing a Disney video holiday series just for the people who are only here for Disney stuff. I hear you. I listen. So every Monday and Friday, my normal schedule during December, you are going to be getting videos in which I watch a winter or Christmas themed Disney short and talk about it as well as perhaps do a Christmas craft. So I really hope you guys will enjoy that series. Vlogmas starts tomorrow. The first video of the holiday Disney series will be the first Monday of December. You can't even see my shirt, which makes it look like I'm freaking naked. And I'm like, I look naked. <gasps> I'm wearing a shirt, I promise. 